People with dyslexia are now recognised to have a particular set of strengths. Consider the examples of the following dyslexic people who have done very, very well in their lives. Einstein developed the theory of relativity, won a Nobel Prize and developed the world famous equation E equals MC squared. Jamie Oliver is a TV celebrity chef, entrepreneur, restaurant owner and popular cookbook author. Erin Brockovich is an environmental activist and put together a case against PG&E where they were accused of contaminating drinking water. This was eventually settled for over £333 million, the largest in a direct action lawsuit in US history. She also had a film made about her which stars Julia Roberts. Charles Schwab made his billions on the stock market and making investing accessible to the public. Steven Spielberg is an American film director. He made classics such as Schindler's List, Jaws and Jurassic Park. His worth is estimated to be approximately three billion. So what is it about dyslexia and those that have it that makes some people with dyslexia so successful? Well, there are two schools of thought. The first theory is related to dyslexic's ability to overcome obstacles and the second is related to dyslexic natural strengths. The first theory is the overcoming theory, popularised by best-selling author Malcolm Gladwell in his recent book David and Goliath. It suggests that people with dyslexia learn to tackle tasks differently in order to succeed and this gives them an edge over more usual approaches. It is also suggested that when people face difficulties every day, they develop what is known as grit. So what is grit? Grit is the determination to keep going, to have a passion and perseverance for long-term goals. Could it be that due to dyslexic struggles, some dyslexic develop a high level of grit? Angela Duckworth, in her study, found grit to be a predictor of success in life. The other theory is the natural strengths theory. This suggests that dyslexics are predisposed to have typical strengths. Doctors Brock and Fernet ID are neurolearning experts and say that dyslexia is a brain system that is organised differently and this comes with advantages as well as disadvantages. People with dyslexia might display different combinations of these talents. However, there are four main ones that Dr. ID discussed. The first strength is interconnected reasoning, which is the ability to spot unusual connections between various types of information. Narrative reasoning is showing a talent for creative writing. Material reasoning is being able to understand the material universe and understand and see things in 3D perspectives. The fourth strength is dynamic reasoning. This is the ability to read changing patterns in the real world and the capacity to predict future outcomes and plausible outcomes of various courses of actions. This is particularly useful in a business context. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want more information, I've put tons of links below which give you more information on some of the books that I've talked about and some other references and also some resources for you to be a massive success in your life. Good luck!